so after winning 9 of 10, the Lakers picking up steam at the right time. But without LeBron James last night, who was dealing with flu-like symptoms and no Anthony Davis for the second half, Davis aggravated a left eye injury, was ruled out of the second of the Lakers' 127-117 loss to the T-Wolves. Now, the Pelicans won Sunday night in Phoenix, but the Suns still hold the tiebreaker between the teams with four games to play. The Rockets lost their fifth in a row following their 11-game win streak and are now eliminated from playoff contention. Tim Legler is in the building. Good hey, to see you, as always. See you. Good to see you. Happy Monday. Too, uh, Shay, I want to start with you. So, your Lakers currently ninth in the West. Do you think they're the biggest threat to the Nuggets in the conference? I don't. As much as I'd like to say they are. Um, what? I almost it, fell it, out it, of my it, chair. I no, almost you know just what? fell out of my chair, Shannon. It's, oh, dependent, on one, it's a dependent on one thing. Is Carl Anthony Towns com coming back? If he comes back, I believe they would be the biggest threat because they have a guy in Anthony, uh, Anthony, that Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards, that can close the show. They have another big that can go give you 20 on a nightly basis. And I think, now look, Gobert is not going to stop. But I think with that size, they could bother uh, uh, Jokic. Now, the thing is, look, we've seen them, Stephen A. We've seen them go to Milwaukee and beat the Bucks. We've seen them go to uh, Boston and beat Boston without LeBron. And I think Anthony Davis as well. So we know what they're capable of, but I saw them lose to Brooklyn too once with both of those guys in the lineup. So I just don't know what exactly Laker team that I'm going to get. Now, if you say we get, we go, we coming, you know we coming out, a, a leg, you and Stephen A, y'all know we coming out to play in, right? If we're in the play, it don't matter. Play in, playoffs, it don't matter. Lakers going to be in the regular season, going to be in the regular tournament. You know that, Stephen A. So I, I, so I don't know what you're talking about. Man, I don't know. You do know. Because Go James is going to be where it's at. Now, if you tell me, you say now, if we get them guys in the, in the finals, the Western Conference finals again, I'm going to slide all my chips to the table. I'm going with Goat James. That's if we get to the Western Conference Finals. I don't want to see him before this, Stephen A. I don't want to see him before this. So can we wait? Can we get a couple of games, a couple of series up under our belt, get our rhythm? And Anthony Davis going to have to start wearing goggles like goggles yeah, like no. Kareem. I, I mean, Because this is the third listen. time he done got hit in that eye, Stephen A. Well, listen, listen. Well, Damon, I don't know if you know him. The man looked like Beetlejuice. I mean, I mean, those big eyes. You know <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, come on, Would man. You stop? <laughs> no, I mean, it's affectionate. It's affectionate. Is it affectionate? Listen, listen, listen it, it, truly, it truly is. I, I, I speak to his dad all the time when we at the games uh, and stuff like that. I love I love Anthony Davis and his family. <laughs> and, uh, and, let me, and let me take a moment to give Anthony Davis major, major props. I already lost the bet to Shay Shay. I owe him dinner. No, we got to go. I'm coming out there next week for the playoffs okay. and stuff like that, man. I, and okay. dinner's on me. He bet me yeah. that Anthony yeah. Davis was going to play more than 65 games. I can't believe it. The brothers. I, I, hey, I would have probably. Games of shit. I would have probably sided with you I, on I that, man. I, I probably would have. I'm almost fainting. I mean, a brother playing <laughs> seven and four games, averaging 24 and 12. That don't mean nothing to me. That's what Anthony Davis does. My issue with him, like Kyrie Irving, who, by the way, has been spectacular. Woo. Lord have mercy. Kyrie Irving. Lord, just give him love and, and props. I mean, he is putting on a show this year. But Anthony Davis, 74 games, averaging 35 and a half minutes. Tim Legler, I never saw that coming. I, didn't, I ain't going to lie to you. I didn't see that coming. And because of that, Shannon, I have to oh, look at it from average. this perspective. I have to look at it from this perspective. Call Anthony Town comes back. I understand how formidable Minnesota would be because of defense. I'm not sold on their perimeter shooting. And I think that's a key pivotal factor come playoff time. You know, I know they got the size. I know they got the defensive prowess. I know they got a, 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 an emerging superstar in Anthony Edwards, who's still relatively young, though. And when you're talking about LeBron James, Anthony Davis, I think you can make a legitimate argument at this point, the way that the Lakers have been rolling, that they're the number one threat to the Denver Nuggets. They're the biggest threat. I'm not trying to say that they couldn't get knocked off or whatever, but I would bet my money on the Lakers ahead of anybody but Denver at this particular point because of their defense, because the game slows, because there's no back-to-backs and you get rest in between games. I think all of those things factor into the equation. The only big, the biggest trepidation that I have, I checked in the other day and I'm hearing that Vanderbilt ain't going to be back. It's not looking good. They're not ruling it out totally, Legs, Shay. Yeah. They're not ruling it out totally, but there's some serious doubt as to whether they're going to give it like another week, week and a half or so, but there's some serious doubt as to whether or not Vanderbilt is going to be back. 
I think that is a blow to the yeah. Los Angeles Lakers. But based off of everything I've been seeing, 122.1 points per game leading the N NBA since March 18th, top of the second best record in basketball with Boston behind Dallas, who's 9-1. and one. They're 9-2. and two. Um, Look at 50% shooting from the field, second best in the NBA to the Pacers, 48.2 rebounds per game, which leads the NBA, leading the NBA in points, leading the NBA in rebounds. Defensive rating is at number six. They're 9-2 and two since March 18th reminiscent to what they did last year when they made that run at the end of the season going into the playoffs, and now they're about 12, you know, 11 games or so over 500. I got to respect what I'm seeing from the Los Angeles Lakers and say, yo, they got a shot to go back to the conference finals. Well, look, I love coming on with y'all. I'll be here a lot the rest of the season, and I'm glad we're having this conversation today because for a <laughs> second, Stephen A., yep. I thought you were going to try to beat me to the punch of something I've been saying since the trading deadline. The answer to the question, if we get back to the question, is the Dallas Mavericks. I hear everything you guys are saying about the Lakers. Yeah. And I agree with it. And, and, and Shannon, to your point, you know, we don't have to necessarily pick series yet. Right? These are all hypothetical. Right. Don't put me yeah. in a corner until I have to make the pick. <laughs> right? I'm with you on that. But look, but I am not going to turn my back on what Dallas is doing right now. 16 and 2 in their last 18 games. They answered a need at the trading deadline. They added guys that can defend. Yep. They added athleticism at the rim. They've got more than enough shooting. And to Stephen A's point, this is the meshing that we needed to see out of Kyrie and Luka. Because you think about it, where is Kyrie right now? He's in the perfect lane. The lane he was in in Cleveland next to LeBron James. Mm -hmm. When he was most respected and revered as a player and won a championship – in that lane next to that guy. And guess what? He's there again because Luka Doncic is that guy. And right now, Luka has checked off a couple boxes I needed to see that I was always worried about. First of all, I never trusted Luka Doncic at the foul line in an important situation. That's right. That's gone. It's the highest Seven, free throw percentage of his career. 78.6. Exactly. And e even lately, what he's done over the last month is even higher than that. He's raised the bar because that's important. He's going to go 10 times a game in the playoffs at least. His three-point percentage as well, highest of his career. Mm -hmm. Shot selection a little bit better. Consistency a little bit better. But it's mostly about what they've surrounded him with. Mm -hmm. And I trust him. I just trust him. He's going to rise to the occasion when the lights get turned up. Yeah. And that's why I think Dallas is the biggest threat to the Nuggets. Let me say this to you. I'm not necessarily disagreeing. I'm not necessarily agreeing with you, but I can't argue with you. Right now, Luke is averaging 33.9 points, Shannon. 9.8 assists, 9.2 rebounds. This is damn near triple-double, okay? That's spectacular. Kyrie Irving, let me put this on national television. Kyrie Irving is my comeback player of the year. He's my comeback player of the year, Shannon. I'm talking about last year being out for a multitude of reasons we no longer care to get into, don't want to get into. That is the past. We are moving forward. This brother right here is averaging 25.8 points, 49.6% shooting from the field, 41% shooting from three-point range. What's his free throw shooting? I think it's at 90.7%. Damn near a 50, 40, 90 49. guy. I mean, th 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 this, this dude has been on another level. He's only been, he's played 56 games because he's been injured. No distractions, no problems. When this brother is on the court, he is something to behold. And yesterday, that show he put on, when he dropped 48 last night, I'm looking at Dallas and I'm like, damn. And you are right. The way they got some size and some defense, we haven't seen that from Dallas in the past because clearly we have nothing to worry about with them offensively. Clearly offensively, you're going to have a problem with them. But if they can get stops, which they've yep. been showing us they could, Dallas okay. could be the sleeper in the West. All right, yeah. we're up against it. Tim, giving you the final word here. There's one thing we all need to remember, and it goes right to the two teams we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. Two best records in the league in clutch situations, meaning you get into a one-possession game five minutes that to go, two best records Lakers. in the league are the Lakers and the Mavericks. Yep. Two best records, and there's a reason. It's because of the two dudes that control the game in that situation. And I just think this is the, this is the best team that Luka Doncic has had. And we've seen what he's capable of doing damn near by himself in the playoffs. Now he's got an actual team around him and Kyrie playing at this level. I think the Dallas Mavericks are legitimately a threat. If they can avoid Denver early – they can go to the hey, conference finals if they avoid Denver. Remember, it was just two years ago they went to the conference finals with Jalen Brunson. And right. Kyrie is playing better than Brunson was at yep. the time that they went to the conference finals. Well, I'm worried. You know what I'm worried about? Because we talked about the Clippers so much. 
first round, if the players were to begin the day, Dallas would play the Clippers. And even though I saw that show Paul George put on last night, they were still down 26, which required that show. I don't know if we picked the Clippers to beat Dallas no. in that okay. series.